Let's move on to some other breaking news. The ED crackdown on Mehul Choksi now continues. We are breaking it first on Republic, where East ED, the Enforcement Directorate, has seized 41 immovable properties of Mehul Choksi. Breaking first on Republic. Enforcement Directorate has seized 41 immovable properties of Mehul Choksi, Nirav Modi's relative, Nirav Modi's uncle, and the Enforcement Directorate's crackdown, in fact, continues. This is what we are breaking, Shavan on phone line. Shavan, uh, give us more details about this ED crackdown and uh, the properties. Uh, what's, what, what place are we looking at? So the Enforcement Directorate Continue. The details that they're immovable properties of Mehul Choksi and companies that have been controlled by him. Uh, this is about 1,217 crore property that has been attached under the various sections of uh, PMLA. Also, we're given to understand about 15 flats, 17 office premises in Mumbai one shopping mall in Kolkata, one farmhouse in Alibagh, built around four acres and six parcels of land, total area of about 231 crore. That's in Alibagh, Nasik, Nagpur, Panvel, Avilupuram, which is in Tamil Nadu, and one hardware in the name of MS Hyderabad Gems SEZ. They've all been seized. That is about over uh, 500 crore is what we are given to understand. This particular park is worth 500 crore that has been attached by Nirav Modi, uh, Nirav Modi and Mehul Choksi's uh, case. Now, what we are also given to understand that the Enforcement Directorate has come up with the entire list of the properties. I'll ask my uh, camera person to give you a sense of all the details of this particular property that we have accessed. This is the list of the entire property. I'll ask my camera person to come a little closer and just to give you a sense of the entire list of properties. This is the list that I'm showing you. That's on your screens. List of properties that have been controlled by Nirav Modi Group as well as Mohil Jux. It's got details, as you can see, of places where he's owned properties. I can take you through one of them that is here. As you can see, this is a park which was owned by Gitanjali Exports Corporation Limited. Uh, these are some of the doc, uh, some of the places which have already been uh, seized by the Enforcement Directorate. This is the value that you see right now on your screens is the current uh, stock value that we are being told on the basis of which the Enforcement Directorate has come to this particular conclusion. This is about 1,217 crore properties that have been seized uh, in this particular case. So this is the total uh, list, about 41 immovable properties that have been seized uh, by the Enforcement Directorate spread across various parts uh, in Maharashtra. Sakal, we're expecting that this particular crackdown would also continue uh, for a couple of days because remember, the task essentially given to the enforcement director at this point in time is to ensure that they recover yes. the money as soon as possible a lot of questions essentially being raised uh, whether at all this value would remain because you have seen in the past in the case of uh, Vijay Malia when all the properties that were seized there was a stock value that was actually uh, put out in public domain and there afterwards when the auction really began the value really came down now that is the same sort of a, mm. uh, a worry that you have when it comes to this particular case but the enforcement Director essentially is saying that the figure that they have come to at this point in time is just the stock value, and they can perhaps uh, uh, after the auditing is done, uh, they would be able, they would be in a position to really okay. give you the real value of all these properties. But this is purely on the basis of the stock value that they have at this point in time. Whether this is going to translate into a market value and whether at all this would really mean that they have been able to recover the okay. entire money because remember the kind of loans that he has taken that's huge and whether at all enforcement directorate would be in a position to uh, recover the entire amount that remains to be seen that is certainly going to take some time before we can come to some sort of a finality with regards to the figure of uh, uh, the seizure that has been made 
And all this comes at a time when the deadline of CBI for Nirav almost comes to an end. Remember, he has already replied to CBI via email that he's not going to assist them in probe. Many thanks, Shavan, for breaking those inputs first on uh, Republic TV. The Enforcement Directorate crackdown on Nirav Modi and his close associates continues. Exclusive on Republic TV. Let's take a short breather here. We'll be back with more. Stay tuned.